This is just a way of describing it, but it seems like I've gone far back enough, like receded back. Well, there's no one here. There's just nothing to stick to. So everything can arise and everything is pretty much the same. It's just that there's nothing that holds on to anything. There's no like person here or identity or center point. So everything just is what it is and nothing's personal. Nothing's important. Nothing is meaningful. And right now it, it seems a little like a dead zone. Like it's just so empty and there's not really a movement, like energy to do anything or there's no real desire anymore. There's some worrying that there's, there isn't a desire to do more. But if the worry is also just seen as this and not really worried about, then, or it's not taken as real, then there really is no problem. And I could see from this non point of view that. When the sense of me is so believed in, which is so convincing, and when you're on that hamster wheel, you can't see anything else. It's so convincing at that point because you're in it. You're in, you're completely in the dream. You are the dream. You so 100% believe that you are the me. It's not questioned at all. And I can see how that illusory sense is the thing that creates the problem and solves the problem and creates the problem and solves the problem. And it doesn't really get anywhere. And then what's also confusing is that the natural evolution of organisms is to grow and evolve and to improve or whatever. I don't even know if those are the right words, but it does seem like at least this organism, there has been an improvement and there has been a desire to grow and to evolve and to Yeah, and the part that makes it confusing is that the person made a huge story out of it. Like, I need to improve, I need to become better, I need to become good. I have to have good thoughts, I need to feel good feelings, I need to act a certain way, have better relationships. Like it was taken so personally and everything had a lot of meaning. There was a hope, there was hope for a better future. There was an evolution in the person and the human and that it was getting somewhere in time. And with age, it was improving. With age, it was getting better at boundary setting. But in truth, it just is what it is. There could be an improvement in setting boundaries and learning about emotions and processing emotions. And there could be a seeming improvement, but it's for no one. It's just happening. And it just, it's more complex because humans are really complex and, you know, they, we do have a, a higher capacity for intelligence because of our brain and the functioning of the brain and the body. And we're considered higher than other living organisms because of that. We can think and process things and make stories out of things and blah, blah, blah. And it is, it's, it's all beautiful. It really is. I can see how even meaning and purpose and goals and hope, it's beautiful. But I see the downfall of it, which is meaninglessness and purposelessness and hopelessness and lack of goals, how that itself is also part of the hamster wheel and that it creates a lot of suffering. 
And then it just continues on. You create a different meaning, a different purpose, a different hope. And then it goes back to hopelessness and purposelessness and meaninglessness. And it's this endless cycle. And you just can't see what's happening. You create a problem, you solve a problem. You create a problem, you solve a problem. It's this amazing illusion. It's ridiculously complex. It's unknowable. It's mysterious. It's... It just is what it is. There is no meaning to it. There is no purpose to it. It's just what's happening. And that can be so irritating for the person and the mind that wants an answer. And there is no answer. There's such simplicity. It's just what is. And the mind makes things so complex. And again, there's beauty in that. But again, it creates a lot of suffering. It creates problems and it creates its own solution. And on and on it goes. And right now, without all of that narrative, without all of that story, without a person in the center where everything is happening to a center, without that, it's like it feels like a void no desire to really do anything because nothing has meaning even liberation and enlightenment doesn't have any meaning no one is liberated no one is enlightened there's just no one here it's all empty And I guess there is some disappointment that it's not better. Like, you know, the body doesn't feel better. It's just blah. It's not really like it feels depressed or it's not like it's deeply suffering. It's just like blah. And there's kind of a desire to improve that. Which I'm not, I'm not interpreting as a seeking energy. I think it's just the natural movement of an organism. If it feels blah, it wants to feel a little better. So I think that's natural. It's, there's just very little that I want to do. There's just very little desire there's very little energy to do much at all. It's just not going there. So it feels like it, it's a natural like settling of the energy. It's not going outward anywhere. But it feels a bit stagnant right now. 